My name's Johnny, I'm a guitarist, and I like playing really heavy riffs. Put me foot on a spike. <laughs> We've done some really interesting stuff on a few of the songs. Uh, Paradolia is going to sound wicked and weird at times. Um, there's some really cool stuff on Dead Again. There's some really cool stuff on Dead Flowers. I am very excited about it. <laughs> Got out of that one. Not singing for No, I wanted to do a different song. No, I want to do a different bit. I don't want to do that bit in front of them. When it came to the planning stages for this, I decided to create a new guitar for this project. And I already had a guitar based in this world uh, called the Double End Pap. And so I decided to make a Mark II, which is quite common within that world. And so I've got the Double End Pack a Bunch Mark II. It's a Baritone 30 inch scale, so it's almost better. Well, it's bass scale. Uh, seven string Fishman Fluence pickups uh, with my special combo pickup selection thing, which is um, quite unique. It also has uh, an Evertune and a Koa neck. It's, it's, it's an amazing and it's extremely heavy. It's, it's an amazing guitar. And the rigidity of the tuning, because we're in E1, so my seventh string is an E1 which again, it's bass tuning. And uh, so as we're able to, you know, withstand cording around that, around that area with the Evertune, it's just flawless cording. And the uh, reverse headstock extended scale makes it uh, incredible in terms of intonation. So I spent a lot of time designing it specifically for this project. Steve's obviously using his Natal kit, which is what we've used in the last two or three records. It was used at Zed Live as well. It's just the most phenomenal kit for this kind of music. And uh, the brand new snare, which uh, the Ludwig snare. So he's very happy. We've got uh, for our Mora, we have um, Abbey Road. I've uh, given us some, some gear, some Chandler gear. We've got a Chandler red mic and some units up here with the, uh, the 124. Uh, pre as well in the red pre. 124 compressor in the red pre, I mean. And then Johnny is using a Fender Baritone Telecaster, which is uh, quite hard to find. And again, down in E1 tuning, and it's, it's a really raucous guitar. It's got a bare knuckle in it. Um, it has a bare knuckle pickup, I forget the name. In terms of bass, I'm using my five-string Warwick thumb, which I love. I used to use Ibanez almost exclusively, and I am actually using an Ibanez for certain parts on this record, but the thumb and I have just been getting on recently, so I'll be using that. And piano-wise, we have a full concert grand in Studio B, and I have my beautiful Beckstein in here, which is just the most gorgeous soft tone piano I know of, to the point where I'm actually sampling it at the moment to, uh, to release for free so that people can enjoy this piano wherever they come from. I went through, I think we counted 120, maybe 130 pianos, trying
trying to find this piano. It wasn't. It's was not the most expensive. It wasn't anything. It was just the best sounding Bechstein. And uh, what I really wanted was something intimate and um, but full bodied. And uh, this is what I landed at. And so it's become my my baby now. It's uh, it's an incredible piano to play. That's what I do naturally. That's when I feel intimidated. That's my question. <laughs> like you're ready to pants. <laughs> uncomfortable, more is uncomfortable. Shh. <laughs> that I am. Weird seeing myself. Yeah. Don't, I'm not a big fan of it, personally. Um. Oh, they can't hear me. They can't hear me. They can't hear you. They can't hear me. Well, there's a microphone in there. I'm assuming so. <laughs> They're going back. Cheshire and Phipps, please. Uh, I want some Cheshire and Phipps, please. Oh, you can have other Phipps. Yay. I think he joins the work. Okay. I like Nothing at all. Hmm? Yes, please. Don't, I'm going to burst into flame. Stop Mary it. Mary was shaped like a cake tin, but she had a... No, no, not Mary. Sorry, ignore me. This is what happens when I sit down in the room. It's like a bread tin, except it's dented, so everybody from Eve onwards... This is why I stay in that room. I stay in that room, and no one does this in that room. Johnny... That's what the witness told me. <laughs> and I sat there on... Hey, Johnny, do you know what else said to me? There was no fighting Fuck before me. 